Hey guys, it is Brandon Baum here. Now I have teamed up with the lovely people over at Adobe to bring you a full tutorial series on how I created my most recent upload, Mobile Bartender. We've already taken a deep dive into how I removed objects from the scene, how I do a screen replacement, and then how I created animations inside of that screen. Today we're going to be looking at the final section of the video where my friend Alex removes an app from inside her mouth. Now to create this, I actually printed and laminated a phone icon for Alex to pull out of her mouth. This was just so I had something in post that I could later track onto. After bringing it in the edit though, I found out very quickly that you couldn't see it at all because her fingers were blocking it the entire time. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working out how I can bring that icon back into real life. So to start the process, we're just going to import our footage and drag it down to make a new composition. We're going to start the process by tracking Alex's fingers so later we have something to track on the fake icon too. So I'm going to go up to window, select on tracker and then select track motion. We're then just going to zoom in and pin this onto her fingernail. I'm just going to scale this up slightly just to give the tracker some more points. I'm just going to let it analyze one frame at a time uh, and just manually readjust it where needs be. Perfect, so we finished the tracking. I'm just going to scrub through it just to make sure we've got a pretty accurate track. I'm super happy with that. Cool, so before we do anything further, we're just going to go back into our composition. We're going to select layer, go new and hit null object. We then want to go back into our tracking and hit on edit target. We want to make sure our target is now on this new null layer. We're just going to click OK and then we're going to select apply. OK, perfect. So now that we've got our tracking down, the next thing we're going to want to do is find our icon. So in our last tutorial, we already created the phone icon. So I'm just going to drag that into this composition and I'm just going to place it in our scene exactly where I want it to go. I'm just going to scale it down very slightly. So that probably looks good. Great, so now we're happy with its position. We're going to parent this layer to our null layer. If we now scrub through the footage, we'll see that it's tracked the phone onto Alex's fingers. The next thing we're going to want to do is go through the timeline and try and find places where we don't think the tracks work that well. So I'm going to find the last place that I was happy with the track. So all of this looks good. And here as she starts to twist the fingers, I feel like you'd see less of the icon at this point. I'm going to select on the moment where I think you'd see less of the phone. And I'm simply just going to drag the phone closer to her fingers. I'm going to keep repeating this process throughout the clip, finding any other points where I don't think the track makes sense. Perfect. So I'm just going to scrub through the footage and see how that looks. Great. So I know it looks very weird at this stage, but I promise you the next step is going to tie everything together and make it look great. So we're going to duplicate our main layer and bring it to the top. We then want to use our rotor brush tool to select on all the areas that should be in the foreground above the icon. So I'm just going to double click on our layer to take us into the layer panel. I'm then going to select on you on the keyboard and just delete all this tracking information because we no longer need it. I'm going to zoom in slightly and then using our rotor brush tool, just select on all the areas that I believe should be in the foreground. If it automatically selects on any areas that I don't want, I'm just going to press an alt on the keyboard and they will undo the selection. Perfect. If we just scrub through, we can see it's made a really good roto of everything that should be in the foreground above the phone. Then in the effects control, I'm just going to select on use motion blur and I'm just going to shift the edge by minus three. I'm going to bring reduce chatter up to 5%. Amazing. So now that we've done that, it actually looks like we've sandwiched the icon between Alex's fingers. Now, because we didn't have very good tracking markers, we couldn't track both the rotation and the position. So I'm going to come in here and manually change the rotation so it matches the way Alex's wrists move. So I'm going to select on R on the keyboard and I'm going to click the stopwatch to add a new keyframe. I'm just going to slide along and find all the points where I think it would slightly rotate and add a new keyframe as it does. That looks great. So the final step that I wanted to do to really make it feel like this icon came out of the phone was to add a glow. So we're gonna to go to the effects and preset and type in glow, and then we're just gonna drag this onto our phone layer. I'm just gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna change my glow radius to 30. That looks nice. Perfect, and we're done. So it's finally time to take a look at what we've created. So guys, make sure to share the link in the description for the entire playlist where you can find out how this whole video came to life. Adobe, thank you so much for allowing me to create this series. Guys, make sure you follow all of Adobe's ads in the links below, and I'll see you on the next one.